All right, y'all. So as you can see on the screen here, this is a Web3 metaverse. Now, this one is actually another bullish video because it brings some realism to where I think VV can potentially go that Fortnite is not going to go to. And it's something that only VV can really do, which is what makes VV needed, which is what makes a partnership with VV, Fortnite and Disney actually make sense because a lot of people don't actually take the time to listen to, to that part. And it's always important. You, you miss the important details because you focus on one thing and you try to disprove that one thing, not listening to the others in the ways that it makes sense. So that being said, this is a bullish video. I am going to set the scene and put it into perspective, however. This right here is a Web3 game or a Web3 metaverse. This right here is, this is what V, this is VV's competition. Do I think VV ever competes with this? Probably not. I'm going to be honest with you, or not for a long time. I don't know if VV, and, and this is, I, like, I, what is this called? Corno. Bias, whatever like listen your boy dropped out i don't know that word but anyway <laughs> this is something that i don't i don't see vv getting to this level ever and i don't even know if vv would want to achieve something like this i don't i don't even think that it's necessary for vv this right here isn't necessarily even necessary and this is why it's such a a, a beautiful thing because i made the point that VV can't even compete with its own competitors like this game. VV is miles and miles and years away from this. So to to think that, and I said Fortnite is taking out everybody. Fortnite not only can do better than this, they can do better than any game in the industry or any, you know, anything right now. So that being said, I want to make the point that I don't think that that's what VV does. They have taken this stance towards collecting because, and I think that they've pushed this collecting thing so hard because they finally realized their place. And I'm kind of wrapping my head around what their place actually is. Now I could be wrong. They could still be trying to create ready player one themselves, but seeing things like this and seeing Fortnite enter the space, Listen, I'm not I'm not holding my breath that VV is going to be able to compete with this. I'm sorry, I'm not. But what is very, very realistic is like statues. The same way you have your desk and your setup, you have the little things behind you where you you put your your Naruto toys and your your your, your collectibles, your your um your like everything, like like everything. The the comics, the 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 way that you have that, that stuff sitting around your home. And if you're a nerd and showing off that type of stuff, if you're a collector, I said a nerd, but if you're a collector, yo, I ain't made these type videos in a minute, bro. But if you're a collector, you leave that stuff sitting around. So that's what I think Vivi's place is going to be. I don't believe, I don't believe it makes sense for Fortnite to take a VV NFT and then link it to Fortnite's collectibles or link link it to Fortnite's nfts it doesn't make sense for them to oh i want to create a nft skin for this character let me link it to vv first i don't think that it makes sense for that there's no logical reason for them to do that where i think vv does actually fit into place is that vv has statues vv has comics vv has a bunch of things Fortnite is too far ahead of that. They're making a gaming experience, worlds and stuff like this. They don't have time to be sitting here trying to create comics and sell comics and stuff like that. They actually are very successful at what they do, which is creating stuff like this. So this is something that Fortnite is never going to do because it just doesn't even make sense for them to do it. And that's what makes the partnership valuable because regardless, like look at this. Let me give you all a perfect example right here. No matter how perfect... No matter how perfect Fortnite graphics is right here, you see this? You're gonna need stuff sitting around like this. And this is what I mean. So imagine this is just a partner statue right here. A partner statue right here, you run past it, you can interact with it, you can go and buy it if you want to. But this is the actual metaverse. This is the important stuff within the metaverse. And that's what I'm saying. I think VV is essentially just going to be eye candy for the metaverse. I think that it is going to be within a Ready Player One type of environment, but I don't believe Vivi is capable of creating that Ready Player One environment. So I think in an environment like this,
this is going to be Fortnite's part, and Vivi's part is going to be stuff like this, stuff that's sitting on desks, stuff that's on walls, obviously posters and stuff like that. Like, that's going to be where Vivi shines at, because this is the stuff that it's not beneficial for, for Fortnite to even focus on things like that. And don't get it twisted. With, with hundreds of millions of people sometimes viewing Fortnite, you know, it's not... It's not out of the realm of possibilities that we could see that be a huge boost to Vivi because a lot of fans and nerds and stuff like that is going to be seeing the, the posters, the statues and stuff like that around this world. And they're going to be like, yo, what is that? And then the different experiences. I'm sure Vivi will create its own little experiences within the metaverse. I think Vivi is going to have its own little, you know, it's, it's, it's events and things like that. I just don't ever see Vivi creating this. And I don't see a point, a need for Vivi to create something like this if Fortnite is doing the heavy lifting. So if Disney is at the head, Fortnite is doing the heavy lifting on this part, Vivi can literally specialize at what it does, which is create collectibles. So now it livens up the place. Like, look at how empty these rooms are. It doesn't, everything doesn't have to be bored. Like, look at this, nothing around here. It's just empty. Imagine some Vivi collectibles around. Look at this, a random light on the desk. Imagine this room, all of these rooms in here gets gets livened up a, up, up a bit with Vivi. Like, that's what I believe Vivi's role is going to be in the metaverse space. That's what it looks more so like to me. That's the role they're going to play. They're going to play a part in building Ready Player One, but I don't believe that they're going to be what we all thought it was going to be, where this, all of this would be their part. I don't see that ever being Vivi. I'm sorry. I just don't think VV is in the, and they're definitely not in a place to do that. And I really, like I said, I don't think it makes sense. So, yeah, this is this is what I mean. Now, the the one thing that is in question for me is the Omi token. If they're partnered with Disney, what reason does Disney have to to give the Omi token a use case within the Fortnite metaverse? But I guess because they're all partners, it would make sense at the same time. But who knows if they're actually going to do it? Because that's the only thing. What does the Omi token come in at? Is it really just going to be bought for NFTs? Can they convince Disney to put it into Disney's metaverse? Can they convince Fortnite to put it within Fortnite somewhere? Like, can Vivi... Act? And truthfully, this is the best case scenario because what I believe is that the Vivi-verse is probably always going to be a place to show off the collectibles. Maybe you can chill, you can chill, walk around, chat, things like that. But I don't think it's going to be nothing big. I think it's going to be like mini games. Maybe mini games. You can play a little AR game in there. Like I don't think it's ever going to be anything to this caliber right here. I don't believe it's ever going to be anything to this caliber. I think maybe you know, like the Wii. Think about the Wii. The Wii is fun to play with people. You can play bowling. You can play boxing. That's what I think the VV verse is going to be. I don't think the Vivi verse is ever going to be a Fortnite Call of Duty. Like, I don't think it's ever going to be that. I think that that, that Vivi versus mini games is going to be like, it's not going to be a, uh, uh, what's the best racing game? I ain't played a, it ain't, it ain't never going to be Need for Speed. It's never going to be Need for Speed. But it is going to be like a dumbed down Mario Kart. Like dumbed down Mario Kart. You know? So... Like that, that's basically my um my thoughts on what I believe is coming in the connection that Vivi has with the metaverse. And I don't think that that's bearish at all. I think that that's very bullish. I think Vivi has established itself in a lane and it can dominate this collector's lane. Now, the thing is, What's going to justify the value of VV's collectibles? Is it purely going to be collectors keeping these prices up? Because obviously, think about it this way. Mass adoption happens. A bunch of kids playing Fortnite and, and seeing VV as an affiliate and as a partner and stuff like that. First off, they're probably not even going to be impressed by anything that's on VV because Fortnite's graphics is just far superior. Fortnite looks way better than VV does. But at the same time, check this out. When it comes down to, to to VV being there, most of the kids are not going to even be able to afford anything on VV in the first place. And it doesn't really make sense to rent things from VV because that's what Epic is going to do. That's what Fortnite is going to do. And people wondering, 
people wondering if Fortnite, I might, I might expand on this a little bit in another video, but people wondering if Fortnite is going to be on the blockchain, absolutely. People wondering if Epic Games is going to be building on the blockchain, absolutely. This technology is not just about what the VV community has made it about. Every NFT is not about pro profit. Everything is going to be um, digitalized, like everything. Everything is going to, your, your car, your house, your social security number. All of this stuff is going to be on the blockchain. All of this stuff is going to be an NFT. So yes, every single skin in Fortnite, everything in Call of Duty, every character in Fortnite, every map in Fortnite. The thing is NFT has become this buzzword used to, to, increase sales so when you hear the word nft or you know nfts are involved if you're an investor you instantly think how can i make money from this does this make sense in a perspective that it can be monetized when in reality nfts is not really just about monetization it's not at all that's not what nfts are about at all that's what most of the nfts you've got involved with is about when it's about social security numbers you're not trying to monetize your social security number when it's about your license, your driver's license, you're not trying to monetize that. That's just something that you need. It's an important, it's an important NFT you're just gonna have to carry everywhere. So yeah, the word NFT just started being popularized to, to boost sales. That's it. It was a sales tactic and it obviously worked. But realistically, everything is going to be NFTs. So yes, it is a point in time where Fortnite's um, collectibles and, and skins and all of that stuff is going to be NFTs. Who knows how valuable they're gonna be? I have no idea. We don't know, we don't have this information. But I digress, man, that's that's pretty much it. This is the perspective that I wanted to share with you all and why I think that Vivi is going to be in this lane, why I think it's a very great lane for Vivi. And I think that this is actually looking more so like a bullish scenario for Vivi. It's a very bullish scenario because truthfully, realistically, I know a lot of people still believe in Vivi creating a Ready Player One, but Vivi took forever to make a search bar, bro. It's like at a certain point, I had to come to terms with reality, bro. When I'm seeing stuff like this, and that's the thing, a lot of you all might not do research into the overall metaverse space. So you don't even know that stuff like here is, stuff like this exists. And it's, it's this, this, this is not popular. This is not crazy popular. Metaverses like this exist and it's getting no attention. Yet Vivi can, Vivi is, is, a hundred times worse than this. And you know, like, so that's, that's what I'm saying. So yeah, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. I just wanted to share my perspective with you all. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if it makes sense. Let me know if you disagree. If you have, like, at the end of the day, I'm just telling you all how I see things. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just telling you all how I see things. I want to know if you all have any cases for why you believe VV is going to build Ready Player One. But me personally, I just don't see it. But it's not for me to see. I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to wait and see what happens. But that's pretty much it, y'all. Um, be sure to uh, drop that thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications. And I will catch you all on the next one, fam. Peace out, y'all.